idea how long the camera will last this time. We've just done two previous recordings for um, the boxing and uh, 10 pin bowling, and the camera froze on both of them yesterday for the latest episode of um, Shit House on Rising Star 2, which is a longer program than both those two put together. No problem with the camera. <laughs> so, camera has good days and bad days. Apparently, Sunday is a good day, Monday. It has Monday itis, so today still being Monday. I suspect it's probably going to crash again. Go get three out of three, don't we? <laughs> anyway, back to what we're actually here for. Hello, people, fellow Drop Bears fans, baseball fans, and fans of the channel. The new season of the Drop Bears, their first season as part of the brand new Tasmania Baseball League. Um. We still have to, even though we've dropped to 24 teams instead of the 32 we had in the previous competition, we still need 34 rounds to get cross-conference games, which is a bit weird. I thought we'd be able to play less games, but apparently not. If you drop it to 32, they just play teams in their own conference. I have no idea why it has to be 34 to start playing teams on the other side, but uh, we want to be able to play the other half of the competition during the season as well. Because otherwise, the only time you'll see anyone in the other conference is if we make the final. Because that's the only time we'll meet one. So, 34 rounds it is. And therefore, two games a week is going to take a long time. So, I'm, I'm going to knock it up to four. But to do that, I'm going to do the two games on the Monday like I normally did. Which we put up on the Tuesday and the Friday. We'll we we'll change the days we we'll put them up. I'll still do two recorded ones on the Monday. And provided I can sort it out between now and Friday, Friday morning my time, we'll do a double header live on YouTube. I've only streamed to Twitch so far, so this is a YouTube series, so it doesn't seem much point live streaming it to Twitch. So, if I can sort that between now and Friday, Friday morning will be double headers, which means not doing one today. I mean, that'll be the opening day, opening day of the competition. Games one and two, which would be for us, if I actually click it on there so we've actually got control of it, uh, schedule. We'll be up against the Brighton Bulls, and they are a northern team, Alveston Slammers. They will be the two opening games to get the season started on Friday. So why am I recording this today if we're not playing a game? Well, I thought seeing the, um, the shuffle draft takes so goddamn long to do, I've already done it. <laughs> so how about we look at what the team is that we've got. All the players we had, the, the full list that we had at the end of last competition, plus all the players that came and went, not one of them turned up as an option to pick up during the shuffle draft. Not one. <laughs> so our entire team is new players. I saw some of their names scrolling up from other teams picking them, but we never got the option to pick any of them up. So it's a brand new team. We don't know any of these people. Um, Ego would move up to 56 because we won at 55. So it's a double whammy. Our ego will go up a spot to 56 for this season, first season of this new competition. And we have a brand new team of players. So we don't know who we've got. We don't know whether we've got a good team or not. And we'll be playing at a higher level. On the bright side, we've still got eight teams from each conference goes into the finals. There's only 12 in each, so only four teams are going to miss out in the South Conference. So you'd hope we could beat four teams. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a fairly short season. Well, actually, it won't be that short because there's 34 games still. This is who we ended up with. It is. This is our team. Okay. God, I've forgotten who they are already. Look at this. There's nobody here that was playing or played at any stage. 
or us <laughs> that last competition. Not one. And we never got an option to pick one up. They only give you eight players to pick from each round. And we never got any of our players turn up in any of those group of eight for every round of the draft. <laughs> Not one. So they're all brand new. This is, this is, this is our suggested lineup. Okay, this is, we'll have to go with the suggested lineup because I have no idea about these players and so we'll find out as we go, I guess. But the suggested lineup is Roy Woods as our third baseman. You can also play him anywhere infield, outfield, so that's very handy. We have Corbin Presidente, who will be our second baseman. Devin Riley will be our shortstop. Once again, another one who can play anywhere, infield, outfield. Sluggy Boomhor. <laughs> that sounds like a big hitter, and no stats say he can hit. Speed and fielding look a little sus, but he's got a good arm. Knees in the right field. They got to play left. Ruby Green will be our designated hitter. We don't have a designated hitter. What? Hang on. Yeah, designated hitter is off. Why have I got a designated hitter? <laughs> I don't have one. There are no designated hitters. So the pitchers have to bat. I was sure I picked that. Interesting. Okay, well that, that derailed me a little bit. Get back in there. Apparently, if we want a designated hitter and we don't have one, Ruby Green would be it. We can play first and third base. <laughs> Kid Rossi is our first baseman. Got a lot of power, got a bit of speed as well. Got a good fielding arm too, with the average. Uh, Mallory Jugo will be our catcher. Has a solid arm, which is what we want. Try and catch these people stealing second base. And has a bit of power, can hit. Uh, Thea Nash will be our left fielder. Not so much for the power, but she's got contact, so she's probably an early early in the batting line. I don't know if she's batting at eight. I'd probably open with her. She has got contact. And our centre fielder, Henry Island. An interesting choice. He's got plenty of speed. He's a good fielder, good arm. But uh, batting wise is very suspect. This is an interesting lineup that they're suggesting. I'll be surprised if I actually go for it. I suppose I will until we see what they can do. I mean, how do we place? Do we replace any of these players and say, "Oh, such and such is better" when no one has played? Guess we'll find out. There are no stats available. That's interesting. There's our team. Look at them. Henry Island, Chase Aracor, Thea Nash, Ruby Green, and Billy LeBoink. Now, there's someone I've heard of. She's got a lot of contact, a bit of power. She's got no speed. He's a great field. He's got a 97 arm. Plays right field, left field. Thought he was better than that, but that's good. So uh, yeah, that's a heck of an arm. Uh, Batch Wilson, Mallory Jugo, Roy Woods, a Sluggy Boomhor, Corbin Presidente, a Babette Walkman, Evan Chukov, Fabio Fabulo, Devin Riley, Herd Masano, Ernesto Walsh, Benson Rushmore, Kid Rossi. Meow Bubkins I've heard of as well. I don't think she's played for us. Um, Rogan Balls, <laughs> Dwight Breeze, and Ava Muller. There's the team photo. Take a look at that. There's your first um, season champions. <laughs> oh, that's easy. I thought that was a mask for the guy on the top, top right there. <laughs> It's not. It's just dark. 
but I just saw that and I thought, that's a mask. That's no, not. Interesting look. Okay, let's get back to the um, line up here. And uh doesn't show us the pitching staff, does it? Uh, well, if we get to the designated hitter, because they won't be hitting. Here's our starting pitchers. Ava Muller has a B minus. She has a four seam, curveball, slider, and changeup. Just a lot of velocity. Accuracy and junk looks a bit suspect. Meow Bubkins. She's a B starting pitcher. No velocity. Okay, junk, but a lot of accuracy. She has five pitches four seam, curveball, slider, screwball, and changeup. We have Hiro Masano, a C plus starting pitcher. A lot of accuracy. That's about all we can say. He's <laughs> got five pitches, though. So four seam, two seam. Curveball, slider, and changeup. Oh, I missed one. Fabio Fabulo. <laughs> a B starting pitcher. Five pitches. He's got a lot of accuracy. Bugger all junk and velocity, so it's not relying a lot on accuracy here. I'm not sure what I was looking for. <laughs> you got a four seam, two seam slider, changeup, and a fork ball. I suspect, like um, the previous season, there may be some alterations to our pitching staff. Our relief pitchers, a D plus, Dwight Breeze. B relief pitcher. Why is it every time I do a recording, the um, lawnmower man appears? It's, it's like some sort of magnet, isn't it? Um, C plus, Benson Rushmore, a C minus, and Babette Walkman. No, we've actually got a closer. We didn't have a closer in our last competition. But has got velocity. So, and three pitches instead of two. So we've got a four seam with curveball and a cut fastball. So. Let's hope Rogan doesn't throw balls. <laughs> anyway, that's just, that's the um, lineup we have. These are the other people on the on the bench. Got the point, Batch Wilson. Did we have Batch Wilson last season? His name seems fam familiar. He might have started with him and then he left. Sorry, it seems it seems familiar. But we didn't finish with him anyway. He may have been a visitor during the season. Uh, got Evan. Cherkov, Chase, Ardcore. What was Aracore? That's a D, isn't it? It's Ardcore. Chase, Ardcore, okay. That's it, they're the four on the bench, batting wise. So, and of course, we've got some. Um, Ruby Green on the bench because the pitcher would be in that side, so we would never designate it hitter. She just contact them power. She could even be a starter, first base. Who is her first baser? Kid Rossi. No, no, Kid Rossi's probably a head list to start with. Anyway, that's the situation. If I can work it out, opening day will be Friday. If I can't work out how to, to stream on. I oh, can't get it to work on um, here on YouTube for the stream for opening day. Um, guess I'll do it on Twitch, and uh, then we'll have recorded days. I've recorded day on Monday. Two more games, so we we'll do four games a week. Let's get us through a bit quicker. And oh, here's my math skills again. We we'll do four a week instead of two. We we'll do we we'll get through twice as fast. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, the camera has some frozen. It's the first recording we've done today, and the camera didn't freeze. You know what's going to happen, don't you? During the week, I'm going to sort out what the problem is with the camera. 
and then my new camera will arrive on Friday or Monday or whenever it's supposed to arrive and I'll be back to square one and that one won't work. <laughs> That's my kind of luck. Uh, so we may, may not be on YouTube. We might be on Twitch instead of YouTube. We'll be on one or the other. We may, may not have a camera, new or old. It may, may not be old. It may, may not be new. <laughs> And I may, may not know what I'm talking about, but that's a different story altogether. We will see you later in the week. Look out for all that. The new Tasmania Baseball League. Catch you then.